Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because the garden is out of control and I cannot wait to give you guys a quick garden update. Also, this is like day four of Whole30 and the struggle is real. I am definitely, definitely wanting some sweet treats, but we had some really yummy chicken fajitas and so I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys. Share with you how I'm using the scraps from dinner tonight in the garden and then give you guys a quick garden update. you like the new table? Cannot get over how the garden is growing. Okay, so I have a question. He's probably not gonna let me show him to you, but I'm going to try. And if you guys could help me ID this bug, I would really appreciate it. So I have done zero research on what this bug could be but I'm assuming he's beneficial because he's literally been there since the sunflower was like maybe six inches tall. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen him eating leaves, so I'm assuming he's like, he's a good guy. Like he's eating the bugs that would normally eat the leaves, so I don't know. But as you can see, the sunflower tree is doing really well. It is a joy to watch it grow. Another thing I'm really excited about are these peppers. These black Zulu peppers. We've also got other corn and sunflowers growing back here, which I'm really excited about. Also, the, oh my gosh, we have our first watermelon. <laughs> I did not even see this. So a bee must have come by because I did not hand pollinate this. Oh, it's so precious. Where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, that is so rewarding. <laughs> that is incredible to see. Wow, that's really cool. Butternut squash got pruned. 
thinned out. That's doing really well. I'm starting to see some blossoms. I think these are really odd looking. Now we've got some blossoms coming in there. Obviously the the mini watermelon is doing great. Is it mini? No, it's called a the sugar baby watermelon is doing great. We've got squash blossoms officially on all of the squash, including this table queen squash. The corn is growing so much. I think that this is really interesting that this plant could be so big and that this plant could be so small. They're literally from the same seed package, but it just goes to show that genetics definitely do play a role. Zucchini Rampicante is doing really well. Honestly, I'm having to adjust plans here a little bit. I thought I was gonna build trellises to go up, but I really have to be careful right now as I'm getting over this injury with like how much I do. And so instead, I'm going to build like a lean-to trellis and allow it to grow out. So that's just how that goes. And uh, as for the melon though, I am gonna build a trellis for this, for this Kajari melon and jelly melon. And we are going to grow that up and I'm going to try to do the same with the squash which is also flowering which is beautiful. Definitely have to agree with you guys. A lot of you guys said hey it's really about diversity so if you can create a diverse environment you'll definitely decrease pests. Only area that I've had pest issues with, knock on wood, cabbage moths on my nasturtium. But everything else, like I've had no tomato hornworms on the tomatoes that are like interplanted with the basil and zucchini. So that's been kind of cool. I also have some baby, baby tomatoes popping up here. And that's pretty much all that's happening out here. I hope you guys enjoyed that whole 30 friendly recipe and this quick garden tour. As you can see, we're losing light. So I'm going to call it a night, but thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. It's been great to be with you guys and I'll see you in the next one.